Hello people of YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Um, today, as you can see, we're not playing a grand strategy game of any kind, which is different. Um, it's not Europa Universalis, which is mm, almost the only thing we've updated on the channel. But no, it is Pokemon Fire Red version. Um, I have kind of said this in my streams that I play this quite a bit, not Fire Red specifically, but um, just Pokemon in general, it has always held a, uh, a spot in my heart. Um, ever since I was a little kid, it was one of the f first video games that I ever played, so um, I figured I might as well do a playthrough of it, and I thought, you know what, go big or go home. Um, so what we did was, as you can see, it's the Pokemon Heck and Hard Grand Nuzlocke is what we're calling it. Um, a few differences opposed to the regular Fire Red version. So, um, the big difference is it is randomized, um, which means everything in the game is, every Pokemon in the game that is trainer Pokemon, wild Pokemon, starters are um, completely random. I don't remember exactly what settings. I think most of them, except for the starters, I set to be same um, global area one-to-one -one mapping. So there should be only 151 total Pokemon in the game, um, in the main game, that is, until after we get to post-game, obviously, which is something we can talk about in just a minute. But, um, yeah, it's going to be random. Um, same strength, similar, except for the starters. Um, trainers are supposed to keep same strength and have, t um, type-themed teams, so that should be interesting. I've never done a randomizer like that before. But, anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and press start here. Um, hopefully it works. Let's see. I set up my controller settings, so it should be fine. We've all seen this before. Um, if you haven't played Pokemon before, then I highly suggest it to, uh, go support the game on your own. But, this is actually the first game that I ever put the first version of Pokemon I ever played was Fire Red version, so I'm super excited to get back into it. I've only played it a couple times since then. Um, but anyway, we're going to just kind of skip through all this introductory text for now while I explain more of what's going on. So as I said, it is a randomizer, and as you can see, it is also a Nuzlocke, um, which means rule number one, all Pokemon must be nicknamed um, to form a bond with them, kind of. Rule number two, you can only catch the first Mon you encounter on each route. Um, if I kill it, can't can't catch it, don't have another chance to catch one on that route. Um, I have to catch the first Pokemon I encounter. Rule number three, if a Pokemon faints at any time, it dies, and if we black out, then we're done. However, I am going to alter that last one just a wee bit. Um, so I'm going to do a rule where if you black out, I can still keep going. I just have to use six new mons out of my box and we will grind them up and continue on from there. Because, as you can see, it is a grand campaign, grand Nuzlocke. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to play, as usual, regular Nuzlocke. But we're going to finish this game 100%. We are going to do the Sevi Islands. Um, beat the Elite Four the second time, um, which will be super, super, super difficult because, as I said, the trainer levels are increased by 30%, which will mean Gary, whenever we face him for the second time, will have level 95 and above, I believe. Um, so that's going to be incredibly difficult, really time consuming. Um, and I'm not 100% positive I can do it, but we're going to try. Um, and if if it turns out that this doesn't work out well, then we will go ahead and, you know, start over, um, give it another go, because I really want to get through this whole grand Nuzlocke. Um, so we're starting with Generation 1. We are going to go through Generation 8. Um, we're going to be playing Fire Red onto Heart Gold, I believe, onto Emerald, or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I haven't decided which one there. Onto Platinum, onto black and black two um other hand now on to um x and then on to um ultra i think we're just gonna do one alola game so ultra sun probably um and then on to pokemon sword unless i have a change of heart by then but i am i typically roll with the blue game as opposed to the red game so anyway 
that's going to be the plan for the Grand Nuzlocke. And it's not just going to be playthrough after playthrough. What we're going to do is a rule I have come up with is at the end of every... Um, so at the end of Fire Red, if we get through it, I will be allowed to transfer 10 Pokemon from Fire Red to... Um, what did I say we're playing next? Heart Gold. And have them ginned in to the PC on Heart Gold at level 5. Same nature, same nickname, same everything. Um, however, every death that we have subtracts that number by one. So if we have three deaths this entire playthrough, we're going to only be able to take seven. And I'll leave that up to the comment section if there's enough support from any particular, um, for any particular mons on our team. I'll leave that up to the comment section to decide what ones advance and which ones don't. Um... But I'm super excited for that. Um, as you can see, we have a death count up next to my name. That is going to be an overall death count for the entire campaign. For the entire Grand Nuzlocke. Um, so, I think that's about it. That's all the rules that I have. Um, if there are any other rules, so suggestions for, say, like every death we have to do something, I would be very appreciative of that too. I feel like there's something else we should add on to it. Just remember there might be a lot of deaths, um, because right now we don't have a punishment after 10, and I'm thinking there might we might get up to 10. Um, but who knows, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll get lucky. Um, as you can see below my screen, well, below my game anyway, if you follow me on Twitch, that's where I will be doing my live grinding. So, I promise I will never do grinding if an episode hasn't been released yet. So, you won't get spoiled by anything that has come up with the episodes if you are caught up on episodes. Um, the live grinding will always be on in sync with the episodes as they come out. But, uh, anyway, I think that's all the rules that I have. So, let's just go ahead and put in our name here. My name is Brendan. It's like Brandon, but all the vowels are replaced with E's. It's an easy way to remember it. Um, this is uh, this is our rival. What should we name him? We're just gonna stick with uh, we're just gonna stick with Gary. I feel like that's a good name, even though his name is technically Blue. People call him Gary all the time. I don't know why Blue isn't an option, but his name is actually Blue. Our name is actually Red. So, um, there's a speed up button too. I'm gonna avoid that as much as I can. Um, Alright, all boys do leave home someday, so we need to go find Professor Oak. Fun, fun. Wonder what he's gonna have us do. I could never guess. Um, but anyway, yeah. Like I said, starters will be randomized. He's not down here, is he? I haven't played this game for a while. He's not around. Uh-oh, where do we have to go? Um, so, at the end of this episode, I'm gonna show the starter choices and leave it off there if we have support in the comment section um if there's i'll leave it up to the comment section until monday is probably when i'll record next or sunday um if there is support in the comment section for any particular pokemon i will pick that without without a doubt i'll support whatever the people want but if not i will pick whichever one i think will be best for this playthrough because like i said it's going to be insanely difficult all right, Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Brennan. There are three Pokemon here. Ha. These Pokemon are held inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. Were you now, Oak? But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Um, also, I should address, we are playing Fire Red as opposed to Red and Blue, because these are just better games. Red and Blue kind of trash, um, honestly. That's straight up it. I will be playing the remakes. The only one I'm not sure about yet is Emerald versus Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire because Emerald is one of my favorite games of all time. It's one of my favorite Pokemon games. Um, also, will probably run a lot better. It It's a lot faster than Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. It also has... Actually, I might have just made up my mind. It also has the Battle Frontier, and I would really like to finish the Battle Frontier. Um, so I think we will be playing Emerald as opposed to... Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. But anyway, time to announce the starter choices. So we have Swablu. Um, I do have the national decks, by the way. I did give it to myself to start off the game. Um, so Swablu 
evolves into Altaria. Also, that reminds me, evolutions and possible evos are turned on. So if we have a Kadabra, I will be able to evolve it into Alakazam. Um, I think it's just by level up. Don't know what level exactly, but, but it is by level up. So we have a Weezing. Poison Pokemon Weezing. Or we have Metacham. Hmm. All right, so Swablu. Weezing and Metacham. Now, I will say um, there is not a physical special split in this game. So, Metacham will be Psychic um, Fighting, which will be a mixed attack special attacker. Um, Weezing, just poison, that is physical, I believe. I'm like 95% sure that's physical. And then Altaria is, uh, well, Swablu is what it would start off as. Altaria is dragon flying, so that would be both physical. Um, Steel type is in the game, so that will be slightly nerfed. Dragon type, that is. But anyway, these are our three options. I will run around the table a few times while I think of anything else I might need to say. Um, I have a little piece of paper here, just in case I forget. So, yeah, generation to generation. It is randomized. I didn't want it to be randomized. If anyone can come up with a way to not randomize the game, then leave it in the comments. We might do that in the future for some other grand campaign, but this is randomized. I decided I went with it. Randomized is more fun than not randomized. Um, I just really wanted to play a hard version of Pokemon Fire Red, but apparently the randomizer does not let you do that um, without randomizing the Pokemon, that is, which makes sense. But anyway... Levels plus 30%, it was originally plus 25, decided, eh, you know what, 30% isn't that bad. Um, typical Nuzlocke rules, I will leave them in the description if you forget. Um, yeah, we lose a Pokemon for every death, and any more suggestions for what we do after every death is greatly appreciated. But anyway, I think that is where I'm going to leave off episode 1. Like I said, any suggestions, leave in the comments, any... If you prefer Alt um, Swablu, Weezing, or Metacham, leave them in the comments, that suggestion, whichever one you have. Um, I will adhere to whichever one wins, no matter the total vote number. Um, honestly, it's a very, very slightly above average selection. I am very neutral on which one I pick. Like, I truly don't have a preference right now. I have a slight preference for one of them as opposed to the others. But I will not tell you which one that is and leave it up to you to decide. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. We'll see if anyone actually uh, if anyone actually says anything. But anyway, thank you for joining me for episode one. I will have another episode up on Monday. And I hope to see you next time.